Good evening, Pio Nation. I hope you're having a great day. My name is Matt Williamson, and you're watching Married Ecology Sports. Tonight, we have a special treat for you. We have Married Ecology going up against Muskingum University. Not in football, not in basketball, not in soccer. No, it is in Rocket League. The rivalry still continues in esports. We are so stoked about it. I know Ms. King's excited about it. I talked to the coach earlier. Uh, we are very excited to have this match uh, for you as part of the NACE uh, Rocket League Fall Cup. So we'll be getting that to you in just a couple minutes. So while we're waiting to get the lobby information to actually get it created, uh, let's go over the, the lineup for the Marietta College Rocket League team. So playing for tonight, as always, we have... Our captain, senior Grant Swan, Thaxter 21. We have sophomore Austin Offenberger, Ozio. And we have freshman Kyler Wheeler, Raylick. Uh, the team has been playing very hard. They've been doing pretty well in the, the NACE competition. Uh, I think right now they are uh, five and three, if I remember correctly, in the standings. Yeah, I think they're right now they're five and three in the, in the, uh, the NACE standings. It probably won't be enough to make it into the, the NACE playoffs, unfortunately, just because there are so many teams. I think you have to, the top two in each conference will advance, and then the, the third place team will go into a play-in, and then the top fourth place team uh, will get. So actually, I correct myself. Right now, we are currently fourth in the standings. So if we beat Muskingum, there is a chance that Mariana will actually be able to play in to have a shot at the playoffs. So we'll see what happens. Uh, can Marietta take Muskingum? Muskingum is a, historically a very good Rocket League team, so it can go either way. Uh, I know we scrimmed against them earlier uh, in the the, uh, the year, and it went uh, uh, pretty well. Yeah, I mean, it, it went back and forth uh, with it, so this can really go uh, either way. Uh, also, uh, just as a quick announcement, uh, before we get the game started, I'm going to go and get the uh, the match schedule for this week because this may very well be the last week of esports for the fall semester. So as we see in the schedule, uh, our Rocket League team will be playing Muskingum in just a few minutes. Uh, on Thursday, our Overwatch team will be playing against Milwaukee School of Engineering. And then the day after, so basically we have like a three-day gauntlet starting on Thursday because Thursday we play Milwaukee. And then Friday, the Overwatch team will be playing against Muskingum. So, yes, that's right. We'll be playing Muskingum twice this week. And then Saturday is going to be our postseason play in the Great Lakes Esports Conference, starting with our Rocket League team returning to play against Ohio Northern at 11 a.m. And followed by our Overwatch team will be playing against Tiffin University at 12 p.m. Yes, that is a rematch from earlier in the season. And then at 1 o'clock, our League of Legends team will have its rematch against Trine in the semifinals of the League of Legends playoffs. So we have a lot of matches coming for you. Um, Bobby, sh we should be getting that information really soon, but I'm going to hop in Discord because we have a couple of special guests uh, with us. So let me hop in here real quick. Oh, there he is. Hello. Can you guys hear me? Uh-huh. Yes. Okay, good. So we are live. So go ahead and introduce yourselves to the audience as I try to see what, where the lobby information is. You can go first, Tyler. Okay. Uh, this, I'm Tyler Salonito, joining on Discord. Uh, and I am Morgan White, or Neptune, from the Overwatch team, joining via Discord as well. All right. Thank you guys for helping to commentate. Uh, I think uh, Vincent said he could help too. So uh, he might be joining us as well. All right. You should be able to see the game now. Now, where is the lobby information? It is 8 o'clock, and it does not tell me. I don't see the, the thing that says you can go to your game yet. Oh, there it is. It just, ask and you shall receive. Okay. So, I'm just going to get some information here to the team. Now, I always have to type this out because the copy and paste never seems to work the way I want it to. Okay, so let me pass that along because apparently Thaxter's got to create the, uh, the information. Let 
Now I'm going to see if I can go ahead and get it set up to join. And then once we have that, then I will get the audio up and running. So remind me to make sure I have audio up and running. Um, yeah, make sure you have audio up and running. Th thank, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Got that. Feels weird having to do this over Discord now. Yeah, we, we when life gives you lemons, you we tell them to. What we have. <laughs> no, you tell them to take the lemons back. We didn't want lemons. Oranges are better. <laughs> uh, better debatable. Uh, debatable. The orange is definitely the better citrus fruit. Uh, okay, I guess I agree. I was just trying to argue for no reason. Um. All right, so I think Baxter will tell me when he has it up. It might be creating, it might be finishing a game. So I'll let Lisa Muskim know that we're getting the lobby created. All right, so while we are waiting uh for the the lobby to get created since i don't want to get your guys' thoughts on the fact that you have a bit of a gauntlet uh starting on thursday i was telling that with, with uh, everyone so what are your thoughts going into three days and three matches um take it as it is uh i'm not really too stressed or worried about it uh like uh i'm kind of used to playing the game for a long period of time anyway, so the back back matches aren't gonna phase me. Hey. I uh, definitely I see it testing our mental our mental a lot more than our ability to play the game, uh and our motivation. Uh but that's the biggest hit I feel like we'll take as a team. Yeah, I mean there's going to be some tough matches. Uh, Milwaukee is a, a very good esports program, so I would expect our Overwatch to be pretty good. And then when we played Muskingum earlier in the season, it was very favorable with us, but that was early in the season, so Muskingum can definitely be better. And we played against Stiffen too, so it, it, these can be some very tough matches. And we see that we're already underway, so let's get this game going. Merida College versus Muskingum University, and it's not showing up here on the stream, so let me get... Uh, there it is now, you can see, everyone can see it. And Muskingum yeah. scores right from already. the get-go. Four seconds. Coming out of the gate, moving fast, on target from the very first setup they're just on top of it already it seems they want to apply pressure right out the bay right out the gate <clears throat> the scheme is still looking to keep the pressure on uh unfortunately they were unable to uh finish a shot there uh now marietta is trying to push the ball back into their favor We see Banks there just playing very well defensively, putting the pressure on the Pioneers. We see Naz trying to set up the play and centering it up. Raelic is trying to block and is successful. MU is just keeping the pressure on. They are not letting Marietta take a breath for any moment. Any moment that Raelic or Thaxter tries to push the ball to the opposite side, they're just right back in their face. Kind of trying to set something up, but Ozzy is there to deny it. But uh, Muskie is still just on me inside of the half. Ozzy is trying to bring it back and score for his team, but I can't. that's Banks, I believe. Is You're a little quiet, Tyler. You might want to up your uh, your uh, uh, mic just a little having, bit. I mean, yeah, this this headset mic is uh, a okay. little. Trouble. Okay, take it away. Closer. I see. Yeah, I can. I can see what you're talking. I can hear what you're talking about. But yeah, we do see Meredith trying to put some pressure onto the the Muskies. Ozzy was trying to go for something, but the ball goes over his head. Rayleigh tries to follow up, but does not quite connect. Now Banks is going to go for an open goal, and it goes right in. 
Yeah, I think maybe they just they they were desperate to score a goal there, so they were all there trying to clean up the shots, and then Banks just recognizes the open goal, gets the perfect angle on it. Uh, Nas was coming in to try and clean that one up, but they were able to get an uh, bank, uh, Banks get a nice shot. But that's just trying to knock away, but Makono was was going to do something, but Naz decides to knock it over instead. Raylix going to try to make a play and starts centering it up. And it... Okay, there we go. Right. For a second there, I... From Relic. He took the ball down the left-hand side after that, so Daxter lost control of the ball, and he stuck with it. Even when it looked like the ball wasn't about to go in, he stayed. Yeah, so to say, I thought it wasn't going to go in there for a second, but it just goes in right in the nick of time. So Marion is only down by one, so a lot can still happen in two minutes and 50 seconds. This is the game how Marion needs to continue for the rest of the game. They can't get on their back foot. We've learned before in the previous, in the beginning of the season, that if they... Naz the... blowing everyone up as man dribbles the ball to the goal. Baxter luckily respawns just in time. Yeah, he just has some insane dribbling skills. And another open goal, but it goes wide right, fortunately for the Pioneers. That was a great play, actually, from Naz. Banks had juggle control on the ball, so Naz just wanted to blow up the defenders or to free open the goal for Banks to just take it in. That was a really good play, but luckily, it was a really small time. And I was going to go for a shot, but it does get blocked. So now Makoto is going to be trying to send it up, but Thaxter will knock it away. Two minutes remains in this game. Now we see Rayleigh's going to try to take control of the ball. Bounces it over Naz, and Ozzy is going to try to knock it away from Banks, but Banks is going to... Well, it's not really going to do a whole lot. The ball does get centered up, and Thaxter's going to retreat to try to knock it over, and he does. So now can he sink it in, but Makoto's going to say otherwise, and Naz is going to tip it, but the ball is centered. But Mario was not able to retreat back here. Yeah. Getting blown up for it. What a pass coming in from Makoto to... Banks, that ball looked like it wasn't going to go in. It looked like it was about to hit the left side quarter, uh, but I believe it bounced in anyway. Yeah, just barely curved in. An amazing pass to Makoto. Makoto keeping up that aggression, even though all, almost all the members of Marriott over there are like, trying to deny that. Yeah, I, I think we really got to give credit to Banks there, just because he's the kind of player where you put the ball in a scoreable position for him he's going to be able to line it up just like right there he's going to be able to make the shot every time if you give him an open goal that was an amazing pass again from Makoto to Banks to score that one in I don't know if it's so much of the pass it was just that Banks can get into the right spot well but I think okay so Makoto hit the ball I think he got blown up at the same time so it deflected off of something Passing to get, get uh, and it went straight towards the yeah. Another setup for Banks to go for the shot, but it hits the crossbar. But Naz is there for the fall up, and this game is running away from the Pioneers. That was three shots from MU, two of them hitting the crossbar, but Naz comes in out of nowhere unexpectedly. That hits that one right over the two million players. Now we're seeing Marietta be too aggressive. Sometimes they're just almost outright leaving their goal empty sometimes. They're and MU is just really punishing him for that because they all three commit and yeah. there's no one to save them. An open goal there on the side of MU, but Relic just barely flies over the ball, looking to score that one in the mid-air touch. However, Banks does retreat to the goal, takes <coughs> control over the ball. Relic is not giving up, but Naz looks to clear the ball. Go towards Bay to set a goal where they have an open goal, but Thax is there to uh, back up with the assistance of Ozio. There's a 30 second mark. Uh, it's it's still winnable, but they'd have to make a pretty pretty uh, outrageous amount of goals here in the next 20 seconds to win this game right here. Yeah, and with each second it ticks, it's less and less likely. I mean, Mary is going to still try to see if they can get a score in. But Muskingum is going to do everything they can to deny that. Ten seconds remaining, and once that ball hits the floor, it's going to be it. As Ozio tries to hit and send the ball towards the very center of the goal, but Banks doesn't that, that to it, happen. Mu sweeps this map. Was it five to one? Uh, yeah. And it just 
very well. And not even that many shots at the goal. It's just their shots were super accurate. I mean, they only had they had six, five goals in six shots. Yeah. However, Merida, they didn't look bad coming out of the start. They just need to keep up that momentum that they carried on. They kind of uh, stepped off towards the end there. Yeah, I mean, I, I, for the most part, they held pretty well. It was just Muskingum just really took off uh, near the second half of that game. Right. They're taking really good advantage of when they were overcommitted to a situation, trying to be that aggressive to, you know, get the goal. And they they caught them with an open goal two or two or three times out of those shots. Mary just gotta let it uh, forget about that and go next. They have to come back with a strong mental and be ready for this map here. However, a nice shot from Makoto, almost putting them up again early on in this match. But well, Ozio was get to, was able to get the block, but yeah, Mary's Achilles heel has always been having the goal unattended. So they they have to keep working on. It. They got to make sure that there's someone defending at all times, or at least make sure someone can get back there quickly. Because someone like Banks is going to be able to get the ball up very very quickly, or even Naz will set it up for for Banks. Makoto trying to set something up, but uh, all the members of Marietta are still able to deny that. The ball gets sent over towards Relic. Tried to be intercepted by Makoto, but was not able to. And MU is forced to retreat the goal. Nice setup coming across the center, but does get shot out by Makoto. And again, it's just struggling to clear this ball right now. All the members of Marietta are trying to clear this one up too. Sends the ball towards the uh, Ozio on the other side of the field, but it does get reached by Naz midair. And MU is now on the offensive, trying to set something up for Banks, but really because they didn't just foul him. Yeah, so we see Daxter's going to try to take the ball over, but he's going to lose control. McCoy's going to take over. Daxter tries to steal it away, isn't able to do so. And a nice hit there by Daxter to knock it away from Naz. And a great bump there to stop Banks' offense. Mary needs to find a way to get control of the ball and take some shots at the goal. Banks is going to try to center up the play, but a great save there by Raelic. And now he's going to try to take control... And oh, this, this is Mariana's opportunity. And Nakoto tries to intercept that ball, but misses out on it. And Nazio takes control, looking to set something up center for Daxter, but it does go wide. Mariana had an opportunity that there's only one person in goal, and then uh, Makoto missed his interception on the ball that was going down the right hand side of the field. Uh, I just think the setup wasn't really there. As Relic's trying to clean that one up, but Makoto is there to save it. Marietta is doing a better job keeping pressure on the Muskies, but they just need to be able to turn some shots, and this may be the opportunity there. Ozzy getting the play, and a great shot there by Raylick. Oh, how did he put that in that corner? That was tight. Let's watch. That that was a last second touch into the corner coming in from Raylick. What a play. This is exactly what Marietta needs to Keep up now. Can they keep the momentum going? Because they're only up by one. You see, Rayleigh's going to oh, try to Rayleigh go for a shot. Get another goal right off the bat with the assistance of Daxter, and he does. We can clearly see uh, Marietta ca catching momentum here. They've already burned a minute and a half off this clock. If they can keep this tempo, they can run away with this game. Yeah, I think. Uh... Married have got to keep this tempo, caught, keep this momentum, keep clearing the ball. And it looks as though Makoto is trying to deny another setup on the face of the field. Dax is going to intercept that one mid-air. And it, Naz hits that one mid-air to deflect it towards Banks, who's taking a shot on a Married's goal, but Ozio retreats just in time. Yeah, it's a huge save there. I, I would say Ozio has done a pretty good job in general with being on defense. It seems like a lot of times whenever Married is able to get the block, it's done by Ozio. Ozio and Relic. Yeah, that's true. Relic's have had some insane saves before. Oh, I think, his own teammate. Yeah, I think Makoto blocked that one. Oh. Makoto coming in clutch for Marietta. I think we do need to thank Makoto for that one right there. That was a perfect setup. 
That that was that was. <laughs> I for sure thought that MU was gonna score there, but it ends up hitting Makoto who's in the middle of the goal, and Almeida is trying to get on the offensive. Yeah, you know, it happens. I mean, j just as you may block your teammates' goal, sometimes you accidentally shoot to the goal in your own uh, goal. We've seen that happen a couple times before. You know, Ray looks gonna try to knock this over Naz. Naz is gonna tip it towards the goal. But nice hit there by Ozio to block it away from Banks. But now we see Banks is hoping to try to set up a, a shot there. Uh, I don't think anyone actually hit it there. Uh, no, I think Naz got a. I mean, a he had nice the tip, but like Ozio tried to block. No. Like, yeah. Naz. Yeah, he gets the, the ricochet there, but no one oh. was expecting that to go in. I think Ozio might have bloomed all of his. Uh... What is it called? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he didn't have any more boosts to save the ball there. Daxter just desperately trying to save that goal. There's a minute remaining in the match, and maybe it is up by one. If they have to take this match off the hands of MU, then we will go to a third map. However, if MU does take this map, then we, MU will be at what match point in the series? Yeah, so we got a third game no matter what, but can Marietta maintain the lead for 50 more seconds? They, they did a good job of eating up the clock. Oh. Nice save coming in from Makoto there last second. Still very doable for M MU though. This definitely could go in their favor if they get in control of this ball. Yeah, but Raylux trying okay. to center up. A huge save there by Makoto. Baxter trying to go for a shot, but Banks knocks it over to the side. Nice hit by Ozio to keep the pressure. Second mark with one person in goal on the side of MU. Set up for Baxter. That one up no. and he does. That was a... Was though, even with the time being, MU has, or, MU has to score two goals in 25 seconds. Maybe this this might is a, be running away with this map. That was a beautiful tap there by Thaxter to uh, secure the goal, and that may secure this round for the Pioneers, but they still got to hold great, on for 25 more seconds. That was a great uh, recognition from Thaxter, there, or Thaxter, and I believe that was Ozio who set that one up there, Thaxter and Ozio, noticing that only one person could retreat to MU side of the goal, so a perfect cross shot for Mary today. Marion is just playing perfect defense at this point. They're not letting them get any breathing room right now in their side of the field. And they should, with only one second left. They that should secure it. A oh, nice block there perfect. at the last did second. Did it touch the ground? Yeah, it did. Oh, I, I couldn't see it from the angle it's just, we were watching. It just needs to be a sliver of it, and that was enough. Marietta will take map two, tying the series up one to one. Definitely better performance coming out in map two with Three shots on goal from both Relic and Daxter. Yeah, so we see there that Marietta is was not uh, perturbed by the uh, the previous uh, game, and they were able to to come back with it. So now this has turned into a best of three. Now, uh, what? Okay, if we, Marietta pulls out with this match, how are we going to be looking for playoffs wise? We'll have to see. I I don't know. It might also be good if I have the correct overlay. I think I had the wrong overlay in the last round, so that's my bad. But okay, now the overlay is correct. We see Thaxter trying to go for an early goal and a great save there by Banks. But no, uh, the way the Rocket League will work for Nace, the top two teams in each uh, group automatically qualify for the playoffs. Everyone last time I remembered, I think we were tied for fourth. Right, yeah, right now we're fourth. We've, so we won't make top two. All the, the third place teams will get into a play-in, and I think something like the top fourth seed team will also get to compete in the play-in. So if Marietta takes this, there is a shot of doing a play-in for the playoffs. So I'm saying there's a chance. Marietta definitely want to take that chance, and they want to take this game as Ozio wants to set something up mid for Baxter, who just barely goes past the ball. Now we see an open goal, although Banks does get demoed, so this is going to halt the offense and a great uh, job there. Another demo. So now Ozio and Raylick will take the ball over to the right side. Another. And... Naz is just blowing everybody up at this point. <laughs> it's a legitimate His strategy. Job is... His job is demolition derby. He, he's DPS, basically. True. Oh, hey, Vincent. How you doing? <laughs> Good. This is, I will say, Banks, from what I've seen from his movement, he is incredibly skilled. Like, oh, yeah. Uh, the way he's moving and just tapping the ball in the direction of the merit is goal, like, it's actually incredible. Yeah, I think That's he's grand champ. I think he's like a top 500 Rocket League player. He's insanely good. 
Yeah, like I'm I'm seeing this and the way Marietta's doing against him, it's very impressive. Okay, so right now it's been back and forth and we've already eaten up about two minutes of the clock. No true aggressor in this game. It's just back, like you said, back and forth. No one is getting anywhere. They're kind of just butting heads back and forth. Yeah, I mean, it, this could be one of those games where it's just one score and whoever does it will win the round. It, it, it could very well be like that. Both teams, exciting they're, they're, oh, games, yeah. their defense is becoming so airtight on both sides. They're not getting any breathing room anywhere. Ozio, Raylick, keeping everything out of this goal. Now we see Marietta might have a chance there, but Banks is going to prevent that, and Naz Demling Thaxter is going to prevent the offense as well. Now they're trying to center up, and a great shot by Thaxter, but Makoto was there to knock it over to the side. Now Relic will take control of the ball. It goes a nice juke, and it's going to get centered, but I don't think there's going to be any follow-up with it. Looks like he's trying to set up for Ozio. And there it's on goal. goal. Three yeah, minutes off the go. clock, and nice the first goal just coming through. Nice aggression coming from Mary to keep the ball onto MU's side of the field, not allowing that, him to have any breathing room. That just gets around him. He just figures out a way. He he like predicts the movement of the opponents and just goes exactly where he knows they will hide. It's it's such easy juice, effortless for him practically. It looks. That's just the result of so much practice. It's insane what Rocket League, what Rocket League players can do. Honestly. Speaking of. Speak of insane plays, that was a huge save there by Rayleigh because Banks was going straight for the goal and it was a great disruption by him to prevent it. Now we see Naz take control of the ball, but Ozzy was there to bump, but Banks was going for the shot, hits the crossbar, and Naz is going to demo Rayleigh, so this might be Masingham's chance to go for a score. But a huge save there by Ozzy in the corner. Now he's going to try to take the ball over, but Naz is going to knock it over him. I think the biggest problem MU is having right now is that all of their shots are being telegraphed long before they even get close. And Raelic and Ozio are just not having any of it, and they're not letting him get Ooh, anything. Nice setup coming in from Banks for Makoto to try and clean up the does get hit on the crossfire. There it is, a little bit lucky there. Ooh. Ozio tries to block that one, but misses it midair. Uh, caster's curse. Uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> now that one's just Banks being really good. Uh, I th yeah, I think Raelic was trying to go for the block there, but doesn't quite get it. And then Ozio tries to block at the last second, but wasn't there in time either. But yeah, and it's now tie one apiece, so this could very well be next goal wins. This could come down to the wire, as we're at one minute already. But Raelic's going to go for an open shot, and it just goes right Perfect in! Perfect shot. Raelic well recognizing the open goal on the side of MU, and the fact that only one person being Makoto could reach only who missed his boosters on the right hand side could not reach back to the goal in time now we saw mario score very quickly but muskin can do the same thing so even though with only five, 55 seconds left on the clock a lot can still happen another open goal on the side of you but thanks for staying just in time to deny that one they look back and goal is going to deny that one mid-air as makoto tries to send it back to his main side of the goal Azio missing the deflect on that, and this could not be good, but I believe Thaxter retreated back to goal just in time yeah. to send that, that one out. That was clutch. Yeah. 30 seconds remain in the match. Thaxter intercepting that ball, but it does still get sent towards Barry to start that goal. Relic just trying his hardest to clear the ball. Mary has got to clear the ball and keep it on MU's side of the field for the next 15 seconds, as MU is desperate for this goal right now. 10 seconds remain, and we've seen a goal scored with one second remaining in the match. Actually, zero we've seen with zero seconds. Oz yeah, Ozio did that last week, I think. And uh, Muskeem's so gonna try. Banks, trying to get to Makoto Merida, wants this ball to touch the ground, but MU does not. And it will, and Merida will take map three, leading nice. the series two to one, and are currently at match point. Much yep. better game we're seeing after map one. I think Marietta just had needed some time to warm up, shake off some nerves. Yeah, I mean, that was a very hard fought game for sure. Now, Marietta has to maintain their focus. It's very easy when you're at match point to kind of think about, oh, we're so close to winning, so we're close to winning, and then start making mental mistakes. If Marietta can maintain their composure, they can secure this match right here. 
We are seeing some phenomenal play from Ray, like and Azio in this game. And Thaxter on every setup that he's making, all of it's just phenomenal for Marietta right now. If they can continue this pace and keep up that, they're, they're, they could take this very easily. Oh, that's that's scary right there. Oh, that. It, well, um. When the ball's yeah, in well, neutral like that, it's just it's something bound to happen. Neutral ball in front of the goal is the most dangerous part of the game. But there's still a lot of time left. Marietta can bounce from that. Ooh, almost another goal coming in inside of Marietta. So those is that one from halfway across the map. However, Relic oh. with an open goal inside of MU wants to get one for himself halfway across. Or Baxter first needs to get one for himself halfway across the map. Yeah, there just was fortunately not enough follow-up to be able to, to clean it up. Baxter's going to get demoed. And that's going to be must give him a chance to score. But a nice save there by Relic. Ball goes over to Makoto's head, or bumper, or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> that ball is being centered up, but there it is not there. That would, that would have been a perfect time to go in front of... There we go! In a perfect up, bump by Raelic. does not give up. It almost like he looked like he was drifting or something like that when he was trying to shoot that. Just Kurt! Oh, it, so, it, it looked like he like drifted to hit that ball in there, but very, very close. That was very, that was threading the, threading the needle. Yeah, I know I said before, Raelic is a very competitive player. He wants to win, and he's going to do everything in his power to make that happen. You have to love his competitive spirit. We definitely see it in his saves uh, at our goal. He has blocked some insane shots. Yeah, only three minutes remain in this match, and it is tied up one to one. The next goal here could potentially seal this one out. Both teams are playing spontaneous defense at the moment. Relic trying to gain ball control back as he looks to something up in the mid lane, but Banks is there to deflect that one out. Oh, a near open goal on the side of MU, but they recognize that and do retreat back in time, all three of the members. As Daxter is trying to set something up for Ozio, who barely goes over the ball. Relic's trying to clean that one up too, but he doesn't send that wide. Yes, now Mr. Makoto is going to be bringing the ball centered up. And it's going straight to Mary's side. Banks going to go for the corner shot, but doesn't quite connect. Nax is there with the follow-up. But Raylick will knock it away. But here comes Banks again, trying to set up the play. Naz will bounce it out for Makoto. Baxter tries to knock it over. doesn't quite connect. So now Naz is going to center it up, but Baxter should be able to block it away. And he does. Nice demo there by Ozio. This may be Marietta's chance to take the lead, but it may get denied that opportunity. See Naz bringing the ball over, but great bump there by Ozio. So now we see McCoy going for a shot. Ozio gets a great save, and Raylick's going to be bringing the ball over. But Banks is there to... The block. Now Banks is going to be bringing it to the shot, but Relic is there for the save. And I don't know what happened to everyone else. Is you guys here? Hello? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. I was just letting you have the limelight there for a moment. Oh, there. yeah. You guys can take it. I, like, it was so much <laughs> silence. I was trying to fill the voice. Like, um, did the campus lose internet or something? <laughs> well, actually, oh, no. we, we would. <laughs> this is not good for Marietta. They are forced to retreat back to the goal. Makoto realizing that this is a prime opportunity for MU, but made it, but it has just enough boost to retreat back in time. I believe Makoto used up all his boosts there, trying to bring that ball to his media instead of goal. But. There's so nice much neutral game really. going on. Yeah, we have a there is minute no. They've burned off four minutes of this clock with neutral game and only two goals. It's whoever can push over and get that aggressive. Like I said, I this, next goal, this next goal is probably going to be it as Daxter wants to clean that up and give him the next goal, but is unable to do so. Him, Daxter, Relic, Ozio, all on the MU side of the goal looking to go for shots. This ball just keeps getting deflected out and out. Makoto blows up Daxter. This is MU's chance to score a ball, but Relic, Relic realizes this. Ooh. And nice triple skills with an open goal on the side of MU, but Banks realizes that and quickly retreats to deflect that one out. 
45 seconds remaining in this match. This next goal is probably going to put it away. Are Marietta going to be able to take this series 3-1 or will MU take it to a map 5? Banks wants to take it to a map 5, but Relic doesn't. Relic wants to end it right now. See yes, that's just the facts are an open goal on the side of MU. The ball gets sent down the mid lane, but Banks retreats back down the mid lane in time to deflect that one. Is was Banks... that a reverse demo? I yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah, it was. I 20 was... seconds remaining in the match. I don't think either of these teams want to go to overtime, especially not Naze. Naze does not want to go. Yeah, now one of these teams, 10 seconds remaining, have got are desperately trying to put the ball in the net. Maybe it Right now, just trying to clear the ball as there's an open goal on the side of MU, and we're going no overtime. Here we go. If Marietta takes the next goal, they win the series. If Muskingum takes it, we go to game five. Who has the willpower? Who wants this more? This definitely has us sitting on the edge of our seats. This is as close as it possibly could be right now. It looks as though MU wants to take this to a map five, and they are going to map five. Wow. Yeah, towards the end of that game, they literally just had the ball on Marietta's side. They did not let it leave their side. Like they just wanted it to stay near that goal, and they knew that as long as it just kept it there, that they were eventually going to be able to score something, which were they were, which they were able to do. So that was very, very well done by MU. If Marietta was going to capitalize, they needed to capitalize at the beginning of overtime. They had the ball on MU's side, they were being aggressive, they had the setups, they just let us slip out of their hands. Yeah, you gotta give credit to Banks as well. I mean, that was an insane shot in that top corner uh, to be able to secure the win for the, the Muskies in that round. This would not be a rivalry if we did not go to a game five. Just saying. These maps are about as close as they possibly can be. Marietta being very aggressive, taking the stance. And Mew, they're playing perfect defense on both sides, and none of them can poke a hole in their defenses. Banks was just able to get there. I think overtime could have flustered, could have flustered our team. It could have flustered their team. It just Mu was able to take advantage of there. And here we go into a map five and see who takes the series. Yep, winner take all in this game. We're seeing early <laughs> aggression by the Pioneers and possibly an early score, and we get it by Ozio. Nice, nice uh, uh, momentum changer coming in from Ozio. See that they have not faltered based on the results of the last map. They know they can take this. Marietta looking to be aggressive again, yet again. Uh, Raelic looking to play a very aggressive play under the goal, but MU is able to clear the ball and put it back on their side. Thanks, Ooh, trying to go for the shot. In the Raelic perfect sale from Raelic. That. Yeah, sometimes the answer isn't necessarily knocking the ball away, but it's bumping the attacker. Oh, nice juggle coming in from Raelic with Banks. The Raelic trying to lob that one over the de MU defender and put it into the goal. Banks retreats just back in time, though. Radic looking to have a setup on goal here. But Emu clears the ball. Oh, that could be their chance. That demo. Banks and... missing an eye that chance, though, however. He wants to dribble it in himself, but too much momentum, the ball goes past. <laughs> yeah, we see Radic's going to take control of the ball. And he actually gets a demo on the Banks. And that was Ooh. scary right there. Naz almost got that in. Yeah, there's like that a was constant theme here. Yeah, like it, the, the constant theme is that as, so, as soon as MU has it on Marietta's side, like it, the ball just has to just stay over there, and Ooh, like nice Marietta has to break it out of that. Like that's the biggest thing is that they just have to break it out of that cycle of the ball just staying on Marietta's side because eventually a goal is going to be scored. Ooh, Ramek like trying to dribble the ball between two defenders. Does get deflected out and a nice deep flood coming in from Banks trying to get that shot on goal. But barely hits the goal. Marietta are stanking. Thanking the goalposts for that one. Yeah, shout outs to the the sidebar for great defensive play there. <laughs> nice shot from Ozio, but Mayakoto does save that one. Railway trying to clean it up, but Banks should be Still keeping the tempo up here. Oh no, this is prime opportunity for MU. Put an Ozio, Ozio with the perfect. 
Oh and a, my gosh. And a great deflect by Rayla to get it away from the uh, the front of the goal there. Okay, it's still struggling to clear the ball though. They have got to get this ball off their side of the field. Ozzy with the jumbo skills down the goal. Open goal on the side of MU, but it does barely get to my knees. They're looking to set up a goal. A Thaxter is looking to set up on goal. And it is cleared by MU. Oh, it's still. Ozzy is trying to get the setup and actually gets the she goal. Goes in. That was nice. Nice place coming in from area at the moment. Yeah, hits the crossbar, but is able to detect it and just tap it into the side. So now the Pioneers are up 2-0. If they can secure this, they will take the series. Can they hold on for another two and a half minutes? This is a very good setup, very out of the gate. Uh, and they do not have the momentum to go. And Banks with the perfect perfect shot on goal and deflected. Was that by Raelic? Yeah, it was Raelic. Ooh, nice lob coming in from Banks. He's just clean up his own goal. as two members in the U actually gets the ball on that one. Yeah, but Thaxter was able to knock it away just in time. So now Musking was going to have to reset their play. Ooh, what Ooh, a shot. This is very dangerous. This is very dangerous for Marietta right now. Crossbar saving Marietta again. But that was an open goal there for Naz to land it in. Marietta did burn a lot of time on the clock, though. They, they did, but burning time like they did in that last map, they might be able to take away with the series for one goal lead. Maybe, uh, but Muskingum can score any time. Any time they get the ball on the Marietta side, they could score, and Marietta knows that. That is true, but Marietta puts it on Muskingum side of the goal, and Ozio with the hat trick. Three goals for Marietta, saving his team at the moment. He almost got denied there. He got instant damage the moment he hit the ball in. You know, I don't think Ozio scored at all in the first four games, so I think these are his first three goals in the entire series, and Ozio is just kicking it up in this one. Before, you've been seeing him playing very defensively and, you know, stopping Mew from getting anything. Now he's putting all of the aggression in. And Ozio with a save there, too, at the end. Ozio is just the MVP of this match right now. He's saving the goals and scoring all the goals for Mayotte right now. This could be... No, never mind. I, I don't think Nas is going to try to go for his own goal. Just saying. <laughs> hey, you never know at this point. He's great <laughs> dribbling, I'm almost We'll take anything. <laughs> but yeah, Nas is going to try to go for a shot. Great dribbling skills. Banks tries to get the follow-up, but does not quite connect. Baxter's going to get demoed. Muskie's got to score two if they want to remain in this series. Um. But Marion is going to try to hold the best he can. Great dribbling by Banks and the, the juke. Oh, but the a, juke! But a huge block there by Ozio. But now Naz gets another goal in. This is not good for Marietta at the moment. They have got to burn 45 seconds if they want to take away this map. And MU, they're fighting back. They don't want this game over yet. They want to take this game. They don't want Marietta to take the game. No, but we do. We want Marietta to take the game. Yes, obviously we do. MU is just fighting for a lifeline at this moment. You could tell by how aggressive Banks is being with his juggling, um, his dribbling, and just all in all in Asher over. almost sealing away the goal for the game as all the members made are, are trying to get this ball on the goal. Yeah, but they got to be careful. They got to make sure that goal, their goal, is defended. If they leave an open goal, it's going to go in overtime. Makoto's going to go for the shot. Nice block there by Raelic. 20 seconds remain. Maybe they have got to just play the. They can play the clock, or they can look for a score here. The ball is going to go over towards Ozio, who's on that side of the field, looking to deny Banks any control. The ball, the ball is going back towards MU side of the goal. Makoto trying to desperately clear it and put it on the Marietta side of the field, but the ball will go. And that secures it. Two seconds remaining. Oh Relic just God. sealed the game with that. Relic just sealed the game. That was incredible. There's no way that MU can score a goal per second. I've never seen it happen. It's I, probably there was unlikely. A, there, there was a match a couple times ago where it was like two in a row, but Raelic was right there to block. So that's going to secure as soon as that ball lands, even if Muskingum scores. And, and it goes down, and Marietta will take the match 3-2 to two against Muskingum. Actually, is it 3-2? Yeah, 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 it's 3-2. Well, they three went 4-2 yeah. in this one, but three games to two games. 
I mean, it doesn't get any closer than this. I mean, what a match. Game five to go all the Ozio, way in this rivalry game. Ozio is the MVP of this map. He came in clutch for his team. Yeah, I agree completely. Uh, yeah, Ozio just really stepped it up uh, in game five. But, I mean, Raylan and Thaxter really set things up in the first four games. Um, but yeah, shout out to Ozio for that third one. So congratulations to the Pioneers for uh, getting a win on Muskingum. I know that feels really good for Thaxter because we played Muskingum a couple times last year and it, it was a very one-sided match to say. Um, actually, both were very one-sided. So we're very happy that the Pioneers were to take that. So we'll see how that affects the standings. So I think, actually, let me uh, go ahead and update the uh, information there. So, Marietta wins three, West Kingdom two. Yeah, Marietta's definitely applauding themselves for winning that match. Mm -hmm. Like, that's, that's going to be a big, big, big momentum into the playoffs. Yeah, I'm just taking a look at the, the standings. Now, I don't know if all the other uh, standings have updated just yet. See, seven one. Yeah, Winder is still playing. Um... Let's see here, I don't even know who that team is. Uh, Lords is still playing, Valpo is still playing. A lot of the other teams are still playing at this point, but right now Marietta is at fourth, and I think like even if yeah, so even if uh, the, the one team that's ahead loses, and I don't think anyone's yeah, no one else can catch up. So Marietta is locked in at fourth place in the standings. So we'll have to see if that's enough for them to get into the play-ins. Um, so we'll have to hear back from Nace. Uh, I know their uh, competition council will be looking at all the standings and tiebreakers and so forth. Uh, so if we get a, a shot at the playoffs, they'll let us know and we'll let everyone know uh, when that is. And if not, and if they don't make it to the playoffs, I mean, still 6-3 and three for their first season in the Nace competition is nothing to sneeze at. That's great. I agree. Mm -hmm. uh, all right that is going to be it for us uh today so thank you all for watching and once again congratulations to the pioneers for a great win against our rivals uh with, at muskingum and uh, i'll put up the, the the schedule that's coming up for the rest of the week so everyone is aware as a reminder we have plenty of esports for you coming this week we have basically a triple header for overwatch back to back to back games Starting on Thursday, 8 o'clock against the Milwaukee School of Engineering. Then they play again on Friday against Muskingum at 8 o'clock. And then they will play Tiffin on Saturday at noon. So please be sure to come out and support the Overwatch team. But our Rocket League team is not done just yet. Even if they don't advance to the NACE uh, playoffs or the play-ins for the playoffs, they will be playing Ohio Northern as part of the Great Lakes Esports Conference Constellation Bracket. So that will be at 11 a.m. on Saturday. And then we conclude this week's worth of matches with our League of Legends team going up against Trine University as part of the premier playoff semifinals. So any thoughts, guys, about any of these matches that are coming up this week? Well, I know Azadale and, uh, and Neptune, I, I feel like if they get a chance to play in these following matches that we're going to see a lot of great plays coming up, and I'm just excited to see how it goes. I'll be casting those most likely, and... I'm excited to hear about them. See him. Definitely a very exciting and uh, exhausting week of games coming ahead of us, the Overwatch team and everyone else. Uh, we'll definitely have loads of good content. Hopefully we can, you know, win some games with the Overwatch team. Uh, uh, crossing my fingers. Also knocking a wood so I don't jinx myself. Uh, <laughs> what do you think, Tyler? <laughs> uh, we'll see. Oh. Uh... We will see what happens. I'm not going to really say that it'll be easy. I'm not going to say it's going to be hard. I'm just going to go into the match, play the best I can. That's all we can ask for. But All right. For all the latest updates with what's going on with Marietta College Esports, please be sure to follow us on social media. We have Twitter. We have Facebook. We have YouTube. We have Instagram. We have TikTok. I need to put more stuff on TikTok, but we have it. So you can follow all that at Marietta Esports. So once again, thank you all for watching and hope you enjoy the rest of your evening.